guys, Crazy Postman here. Will you join me back at the Lawton Francis Energy Charging Station? Eight stations, CCS and Chattamo Station. You have four of these TELUS Power 50 kW units. I think they're 50 kW. They may be 60. 60 kW. Okay, these uh, TELUS Power units are 60 kWs. And across the way over there, those taller ones are the BTC 250 stations and they all these stations have Chatamo and CCS adapters. So what are we doing here today? I got the Christmas update on my car and you know that changes a lot of things on the display. Uh, we got a whole new UI. A little bit of backstory real quick. Tesla and SeaTech have been kind of battling it out over these adapters. Tesla wants to come out with their own adapter and not allow these and they keep trying to block them and SeaTech will keep updating the firmware in these adapters and bypassing the Tesla block. So what we're going to find out today is are these adapters currently working with the new software? Now I'll put my update here on the bottom of the screen because I forgot to look but we'll see. I got in my hand I got a firmware 161 CTEC adapter and I got a firmware 163 CTEC adapter. I also got here in the trunk a third one that has 163-1. So we're going to try these adapters here and see if I can't get one of them to work. And if I can't get it to work, I got my laptop here and you've seen me do this before in my past CCS adventure videos you've seen me uh, plug these into my laptop and record the session and I'll email that to SeaTech and their uh, technicians there will uh, try to circumvent uh, Tesla's block on it so here we go we're gonna first start out with 161 because this one used to work uh, before I got the update and then if that doesn't work we'll try out these two 163 adapters an interesting find real quick now I did navigate to this uh, charging station and the cars fans have really booted up so I don't know if it's preconditioning or not because it knows I'm here there's nothing on the screen that indicates preconditioning that I can see I haven't I'm not completely used to the new uh, UI yet but uh, I don't think it's preconditioning, but the fans have kicked up a lot more than normal. So maybe the car is preconditioning and I just don't know it. I'm editing this video now. I think my car has a pretty serious software glitch. I don't think it was preconditioning. The fan seems to run full tilt all the time now. And I got that airbag warning light. I think I just got a bug when I got the Christmas update. In my opinion, we'll see what the service people say. I'm going to try um, taking the 12 volt battery off my car for about 30 minutes and letting the, everything die and reset. And then I'm going to put the 12 volt back on and see if that does anything. But I'll film that in another video. Now back to the current video in progress. I'm going to go ahead and put on POV for the rest of this. Here we go. We got our Francis Energy RFID card here. And this one without the label has version 161 on it. Now if we look here at the screen, it says equipment is available. So we're going to go ahead and grab this and connect it up here. Okay, it's locked. Make sure the adapter is turned on, which it is. Now this cable is huge. Go ahead and latch it in there. Now we're going to hit our RFID card here. Authorizing, waiting for EV response. Okay, so far that's uh, working good. Let's go in here in the car and check out this new charging screen. See what happens here. I don't like how it takes my profile name and I am now the crazy POS instead of the crazy postman. Okay, it started charging. 
45 k oh it stopped flash hazard did y'all see that it said flash hazard charging adapter has electric arc flash hazard and the fan slowed down so I did get these supercharging tips and it does look like the uh, charging speed and stuff is up there now that's interesting so let's go ahead and try one use different charging equipment so that's probably not gonna work so we'll go ahead and try version 163 Tesla really doesn't want us to use these adapters so it may or may not really have a flash hazard that's just the excuse they're giving us to not use it but that's interesting that we got that error code so we'll go ahead and unplug 161 and we will try version 163 here okay equipment is available Okay, go ahead and authorize this. Okay, it's ready. Let's go in the car and see if it starts charging. What we saw last time is it did start to charge and then stopped. So this is version 163. The cooling fan, unable to charge, charging station is not powered check power source and try again that sounds more like a station error uh, we'll try again here with the same we'll try again with the same adapter okay okay that's attached firmly we've attached that firmly card has been swiped all right it's negotiating the fan is still running full tilt stuff is clicking we are charging but I'm getting zero kilowatts so it's not starting the charge like it did last time it charged for a few seconds at full regular power and then said arc hazard there it goes now we got 40 kW I don't necessarily like this new screen the charging information is real small over here instead of bigger over here so not necessarily a fan of this new implementation here Yeah, that's the only charge information we get is over here. Now, I guess it's cool that we don't have to be in the battery screen to see that, but I would rather this be bigger. And, yeah, I guess Tesla didn't ask me for my opinion before they changed things. But let's go back and look at the uh, station back there. We are receiving 39 kW. Now some of that's going to be lost into this fan that's running, the cooling system. The station back here just cut off. Why did it just cut off? Did I get an error? Charging stopped. There are no active alerts. So this was earlier, charging station not powered. So it just stopped charging for no reason here. Interesting. It doesn't say anything particular. It says I charged for 1 minute and 33 seconds and got a little over a kilowatt hour. Let's try the third adapter and see if the same thing happens. Okay, that was regular 163. This is 163-1. Okay. 
a second variant to the same firmware. Okay, waiting for EV. So this is flashing, it's negotiating here. Let's go in here and see if it charges. I'll let this one run for a few minutes as well to see if it cuts off like the last one, if it starts. Here we go, I hear clicks in the car. There it goes. It went up to full power, which is 125 amps. The car says it's charging. Let's go back here and get an eye on the station. Okay, like I said, 125 amps, and our voltage is 382. It shows the state of charge. Now, the last session cut off at like a minute and 30 seconds. I don't remember. Okay, this one's going to seem like it's going to keep charging. We'll let it go to about three minutes and see what happens. Like I said, I don't want to stay here and charge because these Francis Energies are pretty expensive. There's a a dollar connect fee and 32 cents a minute so don't necessarily care to stay here I've already paid the <laughs> three connect fees probably everything still seems to be going okay in here I'm gonna go ahead and hop out and I will see y'all on the other camera so what did we find out here today? We found out that with the new software update, the Christmas update, what everybody's calling it, again, I'll throw the numbers here at the bottom of the screen, the CTEC adapter is still working with version 163-1. Uh, 161 pulled that weird arc flash warning, and 163 tried but it failed after about a minute and 163.1 is still working so i've been charging for about four minutes and 30 seconds and i've added 3.53 kilowatt hours so it is still working uh 163-1 seems to be working so thanks for watching this uh ctec tesla ccs adapter update uh, it's currently working. Everything's fine with the 163-1. Uh, Happy holidays, and I hope y'all have a great new year. And we just fell out at 5 minutes and 43 seconds. What the heck? This was supposed to be working. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and record a couple sessions off camera and I will get those sent in to SeaTech. Uh, Obviously there might be something a little off here, but maybe you can get a charge. It seems to let you restart it. So that went 5 minutes and 43 seconds and uh, I will get this uh, firmware sent to SeaTech and see if there's anything fishy or if it was maybe just a regular station error and this adapter's still working good, uh, I seem to be able to restart it and it still charges. So thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Oh man, thought I was going to be done. So close. We'll go ahead and use. 163 regular because it failed faster maybe I won't have to stand here as long all right doing the good old plug in this adapter and record the session Ugh, I thought I didn't have to do this today here we go remember in the good old days 
adapter is connected. We are in the car. Authorizing. Things are clicking. That actually might have happened a little quicker. I'm getting voltage and information on the computer. And we are charging again. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run here until there's an error. And I'm going to save that error and send it to CTEC. I'm thinking since they're starting to charge, there it stopped. Stop charge. Welding detected. I don't know what that means, but maybe that means something like the arc flash warning I got earlier. Maybe they don't trust this adapter. Maybe the adapter's programmed a little bit wrong. Maybe it's the station. Like I said, I just don't know. So I'm gonna take this file I just recorded and I will send it to CTEC. And I know I've already ended this episode but this was a little encore, so thanks for watching, and I will see y'all next time. The fans are still, the fans are still kicked up to 11 here. I just wanted to show you, this is the uh, fault I'm getting now. Ever since downloading the new Christmas update, it says I have a safety system fault. I don't know if that's the airbags or the seat belts, but it's some kind of fault, and I got a scheduled appointment in January to hopefully fix this. Now I'm really done. Oh, of course, it ran for one minute and seven seconds. So now I'm paying that uh, connect fee again. Uh, just my luck. So thanks for watching this Tesla C-Tech CCS. Why am I dancing? And why am I rubbing this? Like, I don't know, that was kind of weird. <laughs>